Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials, and this is the additional exercise for Chapter 6. In this exercise, we're going to take this drawing that has some alignments in it and no labels and add a whole bunch of different labels. Um, we've got five different tasks that we need to do, and the first one is for all center line alignments, we want to apply a label set that labels the stations, ticks, and geometry points. So to get started, I'm going to click an alignment and go to the Add Labels, Add Edit Station Labels command. And you can see right now that, is, that it's blank. There aren't any labels applied, and we can see that in the drawing as well. So I'm going to hope that there's a label set in place that has everything I need. So I'll click Import Label Set, and we're looking for um, stations, ticks, and geometry points. So this looks pretty good major, minor, and geometry points. Let's try that. Click OK. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. I've got the stations, I've got the tick marks, and I've got the geometry points. So that needs to be applied to all of the alignments. So I'll just do the same for Madison Lane. Import label set, major, minor, and geometry points. That takes care of Madison Lane. Next we'll do Logan Court. major, minor, and geometry points. Alright, so that takes care of item one. For the second task, we are asked to create station office offset labels for all the endpoints of the right-of-way geometry, where the curves begin and end, where there are corners, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to start at the beginning of Jordan Court, launch my add labels command, and I'm labeling an alignment with a station offset fixed point and I'm going to do station and offset basic circle with cross sounds pretty good when you're doing this you can choose whatever styles you like um, th kind of the the goal of these additional exercises at the end is to give you a little bit of flexibility to do what you want so feel free to take some liberties with the styles that you choose and that sort of thing I'll click add and it asked me to pick an alignment, so I'll pick Jordan Court. And then I'm just going to snap to the kinds of points that we've been asked to label, the beginnings and ends of curves. And I'm just going to work my way down Jordan Court, picking up all of those points. I do have my endpoint object snap turned on, which makes this go pretty quickly. I do want to pick up these two curves here, but not the other ends. These ends I'm going to pick up off of Madison Lane. And I also want to pick up the uh, the right-of-ways right here, right here, here and here, here and here. Just working my way down the line, picking up all the different points. And I'll even pick up the end points here. Alright, now I want to do the same thing off of Madison Lane. So I'll click Add and this time pick the Madison Lane alignment and pick up some points off of there. And then finally, Logan Court. So I'll hit Enter to end the command, click Add again, and that gives me the opportunity to pick a different alignment. And now I can grab some more points. So you can see there's quite a few points that we're labeling. But this is what you'd see for a typical uh, set of design plans that uh, that's calling out the location of property information. Now what I need to do is a lot of cleanup. You can see all these labels. Uh, I don't really like the, the look with the, with the box around the labels. I'd rather do something like this where I'm leadering into them. So I'm just going to go on around my drawing and clean up all those labels. Even here, probably wouldn't hurt to uh, to drag this out and leader it because of the conflicts there. So this is the uh, the least fun part of labeling, all the cleanup that you have to do afterwards. But it is a necessary part of 
of doing this kind of work. There we have all the labeling done for the right-of-ways and edges of pavement. The third task we are asked to do is create tag labels that start at Jordan Court with tag number one and uh, then go in the order of Madison Lane and Logan Court after that. So I'm going to go ahead and change my label type to multiple segment and make sure all of my label styles here are set to tags. We don't have any spirals so we don't need to worry about that. I'll click the add button and pick Jordan Court first, Madison Lane, and Logan Court. But I can see right off the bat that my labels are not going to even start out with with L1 and C1. So to take care of that, I'm going to click the alignment and click the renumber tags command. Go to settings, and I want to set everything to one: lines, curves. Just set everything. Instead of thinking about what's what, I'm just going to pick everything at one. Now when I pick the first label, it thinks that L1 already exists, and it does, so all I have to do is create a duplicate there. And I'm going to have to keep doing that option until there are no more duplicates. So it's not as bad as it sounds. I can work my way through pretty quickly there aren't that many lines and curves and I'm already out of duplicates for curves still have duplicates for lines so now I'll work my way down Madison Lane And then the last one, but not least, is Logan Court. So that takes care of all of the tag labeling for all three alignments. The next thing we're asked to do is to create a table in the drawing for each of the three proposed alignments. So you can interpret that two different ways. You can say, do I want to see all three alignments in one table, or do I want to see three separate tables, one for each alignment? And I'll show you how to do each one. I'm going to go to my Add Tables command and do Alignment Segment. And let's say first that I want to do all three alignments at once. That's actually the easiest option because I can just pick by, by style and say anywhere I see the circle tag style and the circle tag for line and for, for curve, I'm just going to go ahead and create a table out of that information. And when I do that, it does all three alignments all lines and all curves in that table. Now if I want to do just one alignment or the other, really the only way to do it is to hand pick the, the label. So I'm going to do add segment once again and if I, choose, if I go by alignment um, I, I really have no way of saying what, what labels to, to pull into the table. So what I'm going to do here is say select by label or style and I'll click the pick button and I'll literally go in and pick my line and curve labels along a given alignment and it sounds a little tedious but again it's really not that bad because there aren't that many of them and now I've got a table for just Jordan Court
you can see the one individual name in the uh, in the table so do that a couple more times they get easier after this because the uh, alignments are shorter select select I'll do this this and this so that's a pretty small table only three pieces of information and then Logan Quartz even easier right because it only has one piece of information but just for consistency I'll do the same thing pick my single solitary tag label and there's my table for Logan Court. Okay, and then step five says in all cases we want to reposition the labels so that there's no clashes with geometry or other labels. So just take a quick look at our layout here. We've got a couple of places where uh, things are clashing, so we can use the handy drag state of the labels to clear out any clashes. Probably have one here. Everything else is looking pretty good. We've got a little bit of a clash here. Might look better if we move this maybe up here. So you can see that labeling and making it look good and all the leadering and that sort of thing is kind of an art form to get everything uh, just the way you want it. Let's slide this tag down a little bit. and I'd say that's pretty good. We're on our way to uh, generating a very realistic looking uh, layout for a property drawing. So that concludes the additional exercise for chapter 6.